We now know the identity of the man killed in security on Wednesday night. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office responded to the Marquette Heights Apartments off Security Boulevard, we should say that was last night. A 43-year-old Oscar Martinez died of multiple gunshot wounds. He's one of eight homicides in El Paso County and 21 in Colorado Springs. Curio News Channel 13's Katie Spencer spoke with the Sheriff's Office and CSPD about this year's numbers and how they compare to years past. These flashing lights here at the Marquette Heights Apartments mark the eighth homicide of the year in El Paso County. When deputies arrived on scene, they found a deceased male uh, in that building. It signals concern for the sheriff's office because it's twice the number of homicides as last year. For this size of county, uh, four and eight homicides are, are pretty low for this, uh, but again, it is uh, concerning to see the increase. Those eight homicides don't include the 21 that happened in Colorado Springs. When you look at per capita homicide rates for the 40th largest city in the country, our homicide rate is extremely low. But a fifth of the total amount of homicides happened since the end of November. It's always, uh, you know, concerning when we have uh, this many homicides, you know, back to back. Now, this was unique. Lieutenant Black says despite the rash of homicides we've seen in the past few weeks, the numbers for the whole year are about average. And it isn't something that our citizens uh, need to be concerned about, of just random killings on our roadways. These are usually fairly, you know, directed towards individuals. And for police and sheriff's deputies, it's hard to track the crimes because they're so sporadic. They're constantly analyzing that information um, to help law enforcement be more proactive. So they can identify where to focus their efforts. In Colorado Springs, Katie Spencer, KRDO News Channel 13. And four of the eight homicides in the county are due to domestic violence issues.